Praise the Lord. Here we are again, another day. As always, I give my highest honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I thank Him for this opportunity that He has given me to be before you once again. As always, you know that the motive and the objective behind our show, From Hip Hop to Holiness, is that it chronicles my life of how I was in the music industry for about 15 years. I was a writer, I was a producer. Uh, and then I started to study the Word of God and, you know, just study in general. My whole outlook and aspect has changed. Uh, the main objective is that we teach not only spiritually, but we teach things uh, such as better health, inquiring into deeper education, and just, you know, just self-benefit, things that are beneficial to you, you know, in this life that we have to live. Um, as always, I like to start out with a scripture making sure that we are touching upon the basis of what God has put in order. So, I have the online Bible up right here. Let me just go into it real quickly. Alright, and the scripture that I was actually reading earlier today, I study the Bible every single day, as well as, you know, study news and, you know, different educational things. But most importantly, I study the Word of God first. That's a priority in my life. Um... Second Chronicles, uh, chapter 20 and verse 15. And towards the end of that verse, it says, Thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Sometimes we go through situations, have issues, and we try to fix them ourselves. Sometimes these things aren't put in place for us to fix, but so that I understand and lie that we have help. Uh, most of all, the number one place you have help is in God, but also there's help that could be around you, set around you by God to help you. So just know that no matter what it is that you're going through, that the battle is not yours, but it's the Lord's. And remember, sometimes the battle isn't even physical. It's more spiritual and emotional. The adversary would love to put things into your heart and have you thinking that God isn't going to accomplish the things that he says that he will. So with that being said, you know what this is. It's from Hip Hop to Holiness. Let's go. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I tell you that God is the answer. I say God is the answer. I once was lost, but now. Praise the Lord, Brother Remy. Troubles in my way, troubles in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. Oh, so much trouble. Troubles in my way. Sing your song, boy. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. I'm laid awake at night. But that's alright. Yes, yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that was our very own brother Remy. <laughs> So, Brother Remy, I got a question for you. Do you love the Lord? Yes. Do you love church? A little. A little? How's school going? Good. You like school? Yes. That's very important. I know. That's good. That's good that you know. Brother Mayan, how you doing? Huh? All right. Let's see what's going on with these flyers. I even heard back from this guy. Excuse me, 
Uh, what's going on, brother? I mean, am I not gonna get these flies till next week? Um, you, I did, right? you said that two days ago. I said I, said I was going to call you today, right? You said that two days ago. I said I was going to call you today, right? <laughs> you this said morning. that. What did I say this morning, though? What did you say this morning? What did you say yesterday? Oh, I said I'll call what did you, you say the day before yesterday? What did you say the day before yesterday? Is that what I'm you working, said? I'm working on your thing right now. Uh, hit me up, man. Uh. <laughs> Finally, this fly looks like it just may be complete. Let's take a look at it. Hmm, that looks pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Let's see how this works out. We're about to go into my, my boy Jethro's shop. He had something that was pretty funny he pulled out on me. I just want you guys to see what it is. <laughs> We're over here at it's uh, just the way you like it. It's just the way you like it, hair salon. Over here in Cambridge. Yeah, yeah, we're here in the shop. Here's a, here's a couple of the hairdressers over here. A couple of folks waiting to get their hair done. Here's the, the big homie behind the counter. <laughs> Check out this quote. <laughs> right, because anyone who steps to me, I got to wreck you. I'm associated with, with the kids with more tools than Black and Decker. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my friend from high school, Jethro. <laughs> Jethro pulled this out on me. <laughs> That is pretty funny. This is funny that he has this after all this time. <laughs> you gotta read all, you gotta read this stuff in there. It's pretty funny. Ladies and gentlemen, Jethro has gone into the archive. You say you got the CD downstairs? <laughs> the record? The Man, this guy's no joke. Jethro, tell him where your shop is located. Don't pop me off as a groupie. Tell him where your shop is located. 156 Ren Jeff, Cambridge, Mass. Oh, man. See, that's, that's where we're from. See, we're here in Cambridge. This is uh, the diamond in the rough right here. <laughs> It's hard to trouble the truth. 